Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly general angel reading for the month of September 2023. So before we begin, I'd just like to thank everyone who is returning to this monthly series um, and to also welcome anyone who might be new to our Angelic Wisdom community. Just a few reminders uh, before we begin. First of all, make sure that you subscribe, um, select the all notification bell, like, dislike, and leave comments. Also, if you just like to get an angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com slash services, and um, you can find that link in the description area below this video. Also, if you'd just like to donate um, to my channel, you can also select my PayPal me link. Any amount of donation is um, appropriate and will be greatly appreciated. Now, um, Hopefully, um, as many of you are aware of, my um, brother has been in, had a stroke um, August 20th and um, has still been in the hospital. I just actually have to be very honest with you because I, I just got off the phone with the neurologist and um, it, it's been very difficult um, dealing with the physicians um, and the nursing staff. Um, some have been wonderful and some have just not been wonderful at all. Um, and so I'm definitely a little impacted. Um, I've tried to clear myself as much as possible, but um, I will try to get to the general of uh, the monthly angel scopes for the different zodiac signs as well. Um, it might take a little bit of time this month, but I will definitely try to get to them as soon as I am able to do so. Uh, this has been a very difficult uh, process um, being the liaison um, for my brother and everything, all his medical care and speaking to the, um, his, his medical team as well. I want to continue to ask you for prayers for him as um, he has a long road for recovery and he has quite some odds um, to, to beat uh, in terms of, you know, sort of the dispassionate um, medical members of his team. Um, so, but we have to have hope and uh, they do offer you some hope, but they just layer it with just, I mean, the truth is the truth, but the lack of compassion is just inexcusable, but um, we have to, you know, um, work with what we have and do the best we can and help him do the best that he can as well. So just keep sending up your prayers. Um, I'll try to update you in another um, post um, or another video or something about that situation. So let's take a look at the format and the cards that you see before you, the card in the center, um, it will represent a card from the archangel that we'll be working with in this month and um, the cards on either side will represent messages from your guardian angels so the card on the left will be from the major arcana and this will be insights into what are the overall themes or influences or messages um, that the angels are um, sending us at this time and what those major energies are, um, 
whether it's people or situations, but that are coming up for us. And then the minor arcana um, is what we are aware of. So also the major arcana is something that we may, it might be more um, sort of esoteric or um, sort of unconscious to us, but it's that, it is definitely that which is trying to come through into the consciousness. And so here, this card will represent how we're seeing that and consciously, how we might be focusing upon it or how we need to focus. Um, hopefully it will provide us information about not only what that might be, but how to work with it. All right, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to I keep you know, I'm thinking about my Mother Mary Oracle, so I'm going to just get the pocket edition and pull a card. So um, this is the pocket edition. I also have the large edition. It's by Elena Fairchild and the Mother Mary Oracle. And it's just beautiful images, very diverse um, images of the Virgin Mary. And it's just been really comforting with me. For me, I've been taking it, I took it with me to Virginia was the only deck I took. Um, there are some long messages on the back, but um, they're very helpful. And so just want to, tune in for all of us and whatever help and um, I'm seeing help and then the word please so feel free to ask Mother Mary you can just connect with her by asking or, or saying to yourself I call upon Holy Mother Mary who loves me unconditionally now. Let me just repeat that two additional times. I call upon Mother Ma Holy Mother Mary, who loves me unconditionally now. I call upon Holy Mother Mary, who loves me unconditionally now. Just call in, in the Divine Mother. Okay, and so this is the card. They're so beautiful. You can see why I find them comforting. Look how that just looks. Mm. Very beautiful. Just the imagery um, gives you a sense of like her necklace, and it just seems very tribal, but also sun-like. You know um, the necklace and the the ruby uh, rubies in the necklace, gold. And it's beautiful blue. Definitely has a very positive feeling. And it's Our Lady of Creative Choice. All right, that sun energy definitely. It says no matter what is happening in your life, or how powerless you may feel to bring about change, fear not. If you knew how much power you had, you would laugh with relief. You don't have to control anything or anyone to feel empowered. Your power doesn't come from controlling outcomes. It flows from your endless capacity to make choices. What is your heart's choice in this moment? And that's really telling because it's so beautiful. I just love it. The card looks. Um, we're always trying to find a way to control everything. That That's our immediate go-to, is that we're trying to find a way to keep everything under control. But what is that voice speaking that needs you to keep everything under control. And if you think about it, what is its obsession with keeping everything under control? Because if you're keeping everything under control, that means you have all these reins that you're holding on to and you're sitting on them. And instead of, 
you're doing this instead of something else. You're doing this. You're controlling instead of living. Pursuing. Creating. Opening up your heart. This control, they just wrote the word. It's the voice of your ego. And what it's focusing you upon is lack. It's not focusing you upon solutions. Every time we go somewhere and we want to control or we want to be in control, we want to control the narrative. We want to control the way people see us, how they perceive us. We want to control what happens to us. We want to control God. We want to control the way he supports us. We want to control the way he answers our prayers. We want to control the way he brings about the change that will enable us to open up and get beyond ourselves, our egos, and that control factor. Sometimes God brings challenges into our lives to challenge the control factor within us. That control is only holding you in place because you got to sit somewhere eternally in order for you to believe that you're eliminating or slowing down the process of change, which is impossible. Because if you just sit there, then erosion will happen. And that's why in a, for us, physically illness, emotionally and mentally and spiritually, this all breaks down, deteriorates into depression or anger or bitterness or regret or grief or shame or guilt, self-loathing. We have to release chain. We have to release control. And we have to focus on choice, free will. It's almost similar to voting. Don't ever give up your right to vote. In the same way, don't ever give up your right to choose for yourself, free will. Even when the systems around us seem to be trying to take away our right to choose, you still have to focus on, without trying to control, but focus on the choice that your heart is making. I've said this to many people and I've understood it for myself many times over, even though I'm no better than you in this moment that this message is being given to all of us as all of my messages are given to me. I'm always included. I'm never excluded from these messages. However, our hearts never choose wrong. They never lead you anywhere that is wrong. And if you feel that it has, it is because you are looking for a particular outcome that your heart is not solely looking for. Your heart is always guiding you because of the bigger picture. It is a holistic approach to your healing process and your ascension process. There are things, we judge things as good or bad. And when we do this, we limit our free will. We limit the possibilities of the choices that are being presented to us. We have to always first pray, ask to understand thy will be done.
We have to connect with the divine will. Our your I am presence and our Father, Mother, God and oneness is all in alignment, in agreement as your divine will. And when your heart speaks to you, whatever the journey that you need to take to reach a goal, to reach health, prosperity, happiness, abundance, you will be guided along that path. Whether you perceive it as challenging or a struggle or generosity, wisdom and blessings, that is on you. But you have to remember that you are not perceived or seen as weak. You are not perceived or even understood or even thought about in any way, shape or form in the way that your ego thinks of you and the world it is inhabiting. You are divine. You are powerful. As this card says, our lady of creative choices. Creative choices. Look at her hair. It blossoms continuously, sim symbolizing how we are always blossoming. And this necklace and her gown is blue, the color of the throat chakra. And that necklace surrounding that the neck is also indicating the unlimited energy of the sun to um, express itself, to shine wherever it, wherever it is, no matter what the circumstances might be. And this is something that you cannot forget. All right, let's take a look at the, okay, the angel that is working with you and it's a message from your guardian angel so this is the month for you to really work with your guardian angel as your guardian angel loves you unconditionally your guardian angel has been assigned to you since the moment that you emanated as an individuation of the light of the source, God. And it loves you unconditionally, has been assigned to your soul, not only to love you unconditionally, but to understand and to help you fulfill whatever creative choices that you come up with for yourself. And you must not allow your ego to interfere and create a sense of denial about anything that you wish or want. Is it always all about what we want? Yes. But there's so much more. There's so much more to you. There's so many more facets and dimensions and, and higher levels of being that you are and that you are a part of. And for that great source, it's about all of us. It's about oneness. It's about 
the universe and all that it loves and has created and all of us and and at that experience they write that god of the divine experiences the highest frequency of joy that is obtainable god's heart delights in each and every one of us equally and your guardian angel holds the template of this incredible joy and delight of god for you so that this is always the comforting the comforter with you and it says for you to love yourself unconditionally. You have to align with this unconditional love that God and the angels have for you, this compassion. So this is about being easy on yourself in this month, as I keep saying the word compassion, loving yourself. And the only way you can ever love yourself, according to divine will, divine law, and divine love is to honor your heart. To keep your heart clear, you have to be honest in every interaction that you have, even if your ego tries to convince you to control. And when it asks you to control, it's asking you to manipulate, which is just plain old lying. And this is what makes the heart impure. And what I mean by that, to your ears, so to speak, so that you, you're, you have, you misinterpret and you misinterpret by not seeing the entire picture. You misinterpret by not being open to the journey. Everything that you desire or want is a part of a journey. And just because you are focused on something specific that you want, doesn't mean that that's the entire journey. And if that's all that you're willing to allow, then you will eclipse the journey and the abundance, the blessings, all that is there for you. Your heart does not ever become impure, but your ability to connect with it becomes impure, meaning some something taints the line of communication between you and yourself, your divine self. And so working with your guardian angel in this month, reconnecting that bond, that eternal bond of love, unconditional love, will help you to fortify your own divine connection so that your heart is vibrant and radiant with your truth. And this would be how you have clear integrity and you operate out without the need to control, that you release this, these shackles and walk freely among the living. No matter what kind of limitations other egos might try to convince you of, you can keep yourself free by living in integrity, by living according to the, the aspirations of your heart. You can find, and if you do it with such purity, 
none of the things that the world tells you every day through the news that you need to worry about will be your problem. You will have agency over your body in every way because the frequency at which they are vibrating according to the ego and all of that manipulation and control, you will not be a party to. You will not be able to come in contact with them or the laws preventing you because everything will happen in alignment meaning everything that will happen through you or to you will be happen because you intentionally desire it to be and therefore it will happen at the right time with the right resources etc without interference this is something that we all need now to understand and hold on to. I'll say it another way. It might sound the same, but I've always said you don't have to worry about breaking laws if you love, if you're truly in alignment with your heart, if your heart is truly guiding you, you don't have to worry about trouble because your heart if you're not interfering with that connection, will lead you on a journey where you will always be safe, even if a threat appears. We see a lot of things that's happening on TV to people. And sometimes we experience some of it, but in your truth of truth, you do not experience it all of it. And there is a reason for that. And that is hopefully the point that I'm getting across. Let's take a look at the card to see what the energy is for the month. I just love this card. I wanted to stay here somehow, but I'll put it here for now. <laughs> so, we have what is traditionally called the Hierophant, the wise counselor, it's called here. It says belonging, learning, and traditions. So this card can sometimes often represent ex um, establishments, you know, especially um, establishments that man has uh, that we have created humanity has created to give us some kind of structure some kind of order to provide culture right uh, and some of these other words like that's why we associate like education sometimes with this card obviously religious um, institutions worldwide but also governments so the beliefs a faith or a belief, a religious belief or faith, or in general, our beliefs. And we kind of have principles and beliefs that kind of become our own private religion, so to speak. And right now, what we need to examine is how those personal beliefs are in alignment or not with our divine will, our divine heart and soul. Is there a contradiction? Or is there, or is there true peace with your beliefs and your heart? This is what we need to examine. This is what we might often feel is our, our conscience, right? kind of cross-examining the these aspects of ourselves, this, this personal religion that we have. And right now, some of us may, might feel very persecuted by this, personally, from within our ego, or the projections of the ego sort of highlighting this in 
others around us to reflect it back to us. When we fight against it psychologically, we just create more challenges instead of more clarity leading to more wholeness. And so in this month, how can you, how can you be present with your personal beliefs and find harmony and resolution with the purity of your soul and your heart? How can you find alignment with that? How can you give up the struggle and surrender to the peace of your soul and your heart and the divine will, allowing some of those beliefs that came out of pain and stress and disrespect? How can we allow that to be transmuted? How can we take away the wisdom, the, 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 the powerful lessons and transmute those challenges into wisdom that, that, that resonates with our, our divine will, with divine love? Let's look at how this is showing up for you in your day-to-day -day awareness. So we have the six of water. And this is, you know, it's definitely going to be bringing up a lot of inner child stuff. So where, meaning the origin of where all of these beliefs began. where the layers started to pile on, where we accepted things without questioning them, making somebody else's heart or their words our Bible, something never to be questioned. It's un something that's unrefuted, just blindly accepted. But you see, even when we try to blindly do things, that is impossible. That is exactly where unrest begins. And as unrest grows, happiness is eroded. Peace is no longer still. Mm. Peace is no longer still. Peace will never accept any beliefs that you have created for yourself through your free will that contradicts the heart of your truth, the heart of your being's truth, that which is also the divine's truth. They are un- they're not phased, I'll say it this way, by whatever you conjure in terms of contradicting what that truth is for divine love. And so peace will never be still. And therefore, you are going to have to pay attention because what I'm feeling that everything that's happening right now, again, you can perceive it as bad or, or good, but everything that is happening for, to you right now is a part of the journey. It's a sign to draw you back to this opportunity of examining your personal beliefs that you came up with on your own through your free will, you made a choice, but peace will not be still until you discover your truth. 
And when you start to begin to feel as though you're being drawn back into peace, into harmony, and resonance with your heart and divine will and divine love, then you will know that you are going in the right direction and that you, as a result, will expand your understanding and seeking in your goals and in your beliefs. You will not allow your ego to limit you through controlling impulses. Remember, Holy Mother Mary, our Lady of Creative Choices here, is reminding you to shine, to shine first with integrity, to shine peace, to shine through an outlook of opportunity and possibility. Just because you can't see it today doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. You're on a journey. And that journey is going to lead you to that moment where you will have that first bit of awareness and expansion of all the possibilities and opportunities. The more you live according to that truth, which is done more easily and readily by no longer choosing manipulation as a power to control outcomes. So no matter how people present or what, what things are presented to you, remember you have a choice first about how you respond to that. You can either choose to respond through fear or love. And love meaning a belief that is comforting to you, that you will be shown the path and be able to understand the journey you are in the midst of. I was telling my brother that remember that right now you are in the midst of God's plan, meaning what's happening to you. There's a reason for everything and there's a plan, a great plan behind it. We must trust that the plan doesn't just happen or something you're waiting for to happen or be fulfilled or that you got to get do get right or get yourself no 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 it's not conditional you whenever you make a choice god's plan is already enacted for you all the things that you need to support you if you're going to fail there's a plan it goes into action right away you don't have to ask but what you have to do is ask to see it and understand it so you can get in alignment with it. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful and powerful healing month. God bless you.